Well, I, I have taught Yiddish at Hebrew Union College to rabbinical students and some in Jewish nonprofit management, um, but I haven't taught it enough to notice trends. And um, yeah, so I, I don't know, but in terms of trends about Yiddish in general, um, I do think that there is a trend for young people to be more interested in Yiddish than when I was, uh, you know, in my 20s. Um, when I was in college, there weren't that many young people who were interested in Yiddish, and I felt like it was my job to show my classmates at Columbia how awesome Yiddish is, you know, and so that's why I did these festivals, because I was so excited about Yiddish that I wanted to share it with them. Um, and now I see a little bit more of an interest in that, and I think that relates to a broader trend within Jewish communal life, and that is the diversification of organizations, the explosion of options. I mean, in the last decade, there have been several hundred new Jewish organizations that have started. Um, and some of those are devoted to Jewish culture. And um, I see this in, for example, Yiddish Kite LA, uh, an organization that started, um, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. But um, more recently, it has really been oriented toward young people. And they had a fellowship called the Volksgruppe, and um, it attracted a lot of young people who are interested in Yiddish. Um, and so I think people are becoming interested in Yiddish as a way to connect Jewishly, when that wasn't as common when I was around age 20. You know.